Hey everybody, so I'm going to be reviewing another BB cream today. If you weren't aware, I actually have a BB cream playlist since I try out so many BB creams and CC creams. I'll link it down below if you want to see all the ones that I have tried out and reviewed. But today we're going to be reviewing the Rimmel London BB Cream Beauty Balm Matte 9 in 1 Skin Perfecting Makeup. That's a long name. This is in light, and when I'm looking at their website, it comes in three different colors. And then there is a there's a more luminous one, the original one, and the matte one. And I decided to try out the matte one, even though I'm not super oily, but I just feel like BB creams are a little bit more dewy just in their own nature. So I thought maybe this would hold off the shine a little bit longer. Just reading from the website, it says Rimmel Match Perfection BB Cream Matte with, oh, it has SPF 25, didn't even realize that, is skin perfecting super makeup with a matte finish that eliminates the need for foundation. It's one easy step that replaces the nine part regimen. Primer, moisture, pore minimizer, concealer, covers, smoothers, brightens, and protects. So it does a lot of different things and it's dermatolog dermatologist tested. I couldn't get that word out. So that's it there. I haven't tried it yet. This is a first impressions, but I will show you how it applies and then I'll show you how it wears throughout the day. I'm gonna go ahead and just use my fingers because I just find that the easiest with BB creams. So squeezing it on my fingers. It's actually quite runny. There it is there. It's already running down my fingers. I'm just gonna start with a little bit because sometimes a little bit goes a long way with these products. Sometimes not. It's got a scent for sure. It's like a floral scent. Not a huge fan of the scent right off the bat. I don't know. I don't want things going on my face to be scented. That's just me. So I haven't put on any moisturizer or anything on prior to this because this does include moisturizer and right away I just put a bit on my fingers and it kind of just did this area of my face. So this is not one of those products where a little bit goes a long way. I can tell that right off the bat. So I'm going to grab some more, kind of dab it on my chin area, dab it across my forehead, and a little bit on my neck. I always want to make sure to get my neck just to make sure that everything's even, there's no harsh line right here on my jawline. So yeah, as far as color match, it's pretty darn good. I almost have no tan left. We are at the beginning of October now, and although it's still, we still have pretty nice weather, I just haven't been outside enjoying it as much as I had in the summer. So my tan's pretty much gone, and this color match for light is pretty good. I will say, however, since this is the lightest one, if you are uh, more pale than me, like on the pale side. I'm definitely not one of the most pale skin tones out there. This might be too dark for you. So that's a little bit disappointing. So that rubbed in really easily, just like a moisturizer. The finish so far, although it says matte, it's definitely not a flat matte. It looks quite natural in my opinion. I'm sure once I put powder on that will change, but coverage wise for just an overall first application, like not too thick, just kind of overall, I would say it's almost a medium coverage. You can see I have bright kits down here and it definitely hasn't gone and covered those, but to try this product out a little bit more, I'm going to grab some more and see how it does layering. I'm just going to grab a bit of my fingers and kind of pat it in these troublesome areas and kind of around my nose and see if it gets weird as I try and build it up. Sometimes BB creams do that. Alright, so that worked beautifully. It blended in evenly, it didn't get all weird and cakey, it added a bit more coverage, so I would go ahead and call this a solid medium now. This acts just like a foundation, actually. So I'm quite impressed. I think it made my skin look beautiful. Like I said, there's still that like natural glow to it, so I, wait, I might just wait a few minutes and see if it dries down on its own or if I need to add some powder, but so far it looks beautiful. So I let this sit on my skin a bit while I did my eyebrows. I added some concealer under my eyes and on my nose, and it still has pretty much the same finish. Feeling wise, I mean, it doesn't feel like nothing. There are a few products I have that feel like absolutely nothing on the skin. I can feel it on this skin, and it still has a little bit of tack to it, so maybe it hasn't completely dried. But at this point, I'm going to be adding my, NAR my NARS Crystal Light Reflecting Translucent Powder because I do that with most products. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this and do the rest of my makeup. So it's currently 12.41 p.m. I have finished the rest of my makeup. Everything went on really nicely as far as blush, bronzer, highlight. Everything looks beautiful. I'll come in close so you can see. To me, this just looks like a good, solid, medium coverage, medium coverage foundation. So, so far I'm really impressed, Rimmel. I will check back in at the end of the day and see how it held up, but so far I'm pretty impressed. 
Okay, so it's now 7.06. It's been about seven hours, so I didn't wear this a super long amount of time, but this is what I'm looking at. Looking like, I should say, there's quite a bit of shine happening. That's more than a glow. That's definitely quite greasy. I haven't blotted my face at all today. I did touch up with some powder about maybe four hours ago or so, um, because it was getting like this four hours ago, and that helped a bit for a couple more hours, but we're back to the shine. So as far as matte, I disagree. Um, it didn't go on a flat matte to begin with, and it definitely didn't hold up matte at all. So I would be really curious what the regular and the luminous one would be like, because I think that would be quite intense. As is for coverage, um, you know, it didn't hold up all that great. Around my nose, it's definitely worn off. My chin area, it's worn off. My cheeks still look pretty much the way they did. My forehead looks okay, but it's definitely in my fine lines here because I know that my concealer doesn't do that, so I'm guessing it's the, the BB cream. So yeah, I was impressed at first. It definitely did look beautiful on me. Maybe if you were a drier skin tone, it might work out better for you because um, it did look bit beautiful upon first application. It looked like a, like a really good medium coverage foundation. So. This one's a fail for me, but yeah, I hope that was somewhat helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.